Hi guys, just wanted to make a quick video about Hypercam 3 basically. I'm trying to make Photoshop tutorials and I uh, was having a hard time getting Hypercam 3 to work properly. I was getting laggy audio, you know, the audio was lagging behind the um, video and uh, I couldn't get the aspect ratio correct and the file sizes were coming out huge. Anyway, so I'm going to make a quick tutorial about how to optimize your settings for Hypercam 3 to get it to actually record a decent representation of your screen and your audio. So download and install Hypercam 3 and uh, go to the options, go on video, make sure record video is checked and your video compressor you want DivX 6.92 codec I'm only using a 3 core computer so 3 logical CPUs but it will say 2 if you've got a dual core or 4 if you've got a quad core and you need to click on properties well I don't know how I can show you that really while it's recording I can't show you the options can I while it's running the only way I can do it is stop it recording. It's a bit crazy, isn't it? Well, what happens is when I press record, it greys out all the boxes in the options, so I can't show you the DivX settings. Basically, you need to, if you're using a 1600 by 900 pixel sc screen resolution, then you need to set the DivX video settings to PAL 4.3 for the input and the output because otherwise it stretches your screen to wide angle even though you're using a wide angle it seems to uh, get the aspect ratio all wrong not sure why, but anyway, you can see that's your screen size there. And you can set your in your settings for the DivX dialog will pop up when you press properties. You can also set it to HD of a 1080p or 720p. Well, because it's only YouTube, I don't need it any more than 720. So I'll keep it to 720. You can see it keeps the file size down. It's about 20 megabytes per minute, which is uh, not too bad because you can render that down smaller as well with video compression and video editing software. Anyway, I hope this helped you, even though I couldn't show you what was going on. But that's my little video. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you're watching this in HD and it's nice quality and the sound is good as well because in the audio settings I use uncompressed audio. If you click the properties use the highest setting which is 16 bit. Ok, thanks for watching. Sorry, that's just blowing my mind. Ah. <sighs>